to the future spelling. My name is Sir Link a lot, as I like to link a lot. Linking is a fun and easy way to remember things by trying to find a connection. A link, a link, a linkity link, linkity link. And it is really good for spelling. Oh, so good for spelling. Now, before I start today's lesson, I've got two, another two, 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 Huge, huge is a really difficult word to spell. Huge, oh, what do you do with that? Huge, 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 like Y double O J, huge, huge. Oh, right, she spotted a word at the beginning of the word huge. Take a look at it, can you see it? I'm sure you can, the word hug. I'm gonna give my daughter Bethan a huge, Hug, says mum. A huge hug. Hug inside huge. Good work, Beths. We love it. Good call, top lead. You got yourself a badge, a badge, a badge, and a pencil, and of course, a thou, a thou, a thou, what's a thou? A shit. Brilliant work. Excellent. Very clever. Huge. It's got the word hug inside it. Excellent, excellent link. The next one up is from nine year old. Jack, for the spelling of hmm, control. I am in control. Maybe not. <laughs> control. Another tricky word. Control. Control. The second letter is an O. Hmm. How many L's at the end? Oh, difficult. Difficult. And he spotted a word. At the beginning and the end, putting it together. He saw, this is really good. This is a great, great link. I love this link. At the beginning is C-O, and at the end is O-L. Put it together, and what have you got? Cool. It's cool to be in control. Or when you're in control, keep cool. Cool is inside the word control, but it's split. C-O-O-L. Great link, Jack. Go, Jack. Go, Jack. Go, Jack. Really good. Jack, Jack, Jack. Excellent link. Really excellent link. That's a tricky word. You've broken it up like seeing a word inside a word, which is a technique, of course. Even if the word's split, that's great. Great link. Jickety, Jack. Don't look back. Marvellous. Keep those. Shit, 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 Coming, I love them. Right, today's lesson, lesson number 83 is even more letter linking, levels one and two. Even more. Now letter linking is like, it's like a word inside a word, but a part word inside a word, or just one letter of another word that helps you spell this word. Like for example, the word crumb, here's the word crumb. You can't hear the B of crumb. Give me a word beginning with B that's something to do with crumb. Bread, so link a lot. The B of bread, the B of crumb. So the formula, formula is tough word next to easy word and an expression you know or could learn quite quickly. Bread, crumb. The B of bread, the B of crumb. It's a great technique. So good. We love this technique. The first one up today is... Come. Now, come is really. That's comb, isn't it? It's got to be comb. Oh, come on, spelling. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's got to be comb, isn't it? Oh, come on. Come. Oh, that could be a C at the beginning or a K, a curly cut or a kicking cut. At the end, what's that E doing? I mean, that could be C or C U M or K U M. Oh, really difficult. Really, really difficult word. Oh. So, it's the technique. 
Give me a word. Now, even at ending, a word ending O-M-E, a word ending O-M-E, and link it to the word come. So think of a word ending O-M-E, a four-letter word, and then put it together into a catchy sentence. Let's put it on that clock. Here we go. Oh, you get it? Let's see if you did. Over. To my link. Come. The C is a bent arm and the O-M-E matches the O-M-E of the word home and the O-M-E of the expression to me. Oi! Come home to me right now. Did you use home? Come home. You know the expression come home. You know that. Use that to spell come. And the arm is the letter C. And come home to me as well. Oh. So that's combining two techniques. Letter linking, but also a visual thing. If you're not sure if it's a C or a K. No harm in combining techniques. All right. The next one up is... Hi. Hi. Hig her. Hicka, Hicka, Hick, Hicka, Hick, Hick, Hitch, Hitch, Hicka. What? Oh, come on. Letter linking. I've used uh, two techniques again a visual one plus letter linking. Over. To my link. Hi. The IG of the word big is sandwiched between two H's that look like blocks of flats that are really big and really high. Really big and really high. Oh, we love that one. Is it in? You know it is. All right. Good. The next one. Once. Onke. Onke? On. Ons? Or ons? It's at least ons or onke. Once? <laughs> Again, two techniques. Letter linking and things that look like letters. Combining techniques. We love it! Over! Smiling. Once. The on of the word upon is next to C for curly and E for ears. Once upon a time, we all had small curly ears, which sometimes can become huge curly ears. Very big ears. Very. Once upon a time, you know the expression once upon a time. The O-N of upon at the beginning of once. And then the C and the E of the ears. Ho oh, ho! Is it in? You know it is. The next one up is two for the price of one. Blue and true. Blue and true. The colour blue and true. Can easily be B-L-O-O. Blue, true, T R W O, obviously, but no, not the case. Over to my link. True and blue. The letter U for up is next to the letter E, which looks like an I. Is it true that the sky is blue? Look up and see. And here is an oh so fabby Susie story for the origin of the word blue. Blue takes its name from an ancient root that meant shining, like the colour of the sky or deep sea on a clear day. 
It's used in many English expressions, including feeling blue, which conjures the image of a blue or bruised heart. And the phrase having the blues, as in he's got the blues, is short for the blue devils, demons who were once believed to cause sadness and melancholy in the people they visited. And so a music style which tended to have sad lyrics was also named the blues. The blues. The blues. Great story. Great Susie story from Lady Lexicographer. She's a legend, Lady Lex. Marvellous. Marvellous, 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 marvellous. <laughs> the next one up is... Field. Field. That's a really hard, that, that I. Field. Oh, field. Again, I've combined two techniques. Letter linking and things that look like letters. Over. To my link. Field. You can see each letter of the word field on a five-a-side football field. F I E L D. To remember which way round the I and E are, put a V inside the F I E of field to get the number of players in each side and the number of letters in the word. Letter linking. The F-I-E of five, without the V, which you know, is at the beginning of the word field. And all the letters are on a football field. Capital letters, though. Not lowercase. Capital letters. I've broken the rules there. Broken the rules. Ooh. Always write field, lowercase, F-I-E-L-D. No capital letters. Is it in? You know it is. The next one up is... Half. Why isn't that half? That's got to be half, isn't it? Surely. I would have thought half would be H-A-R-F. Half. Half? Oh, come on. Ooh. What have I done with this one? What have I done? Let's find out. Over. <laughs> to. My. <laughs> Link. Half. The name Alf finishes off this word. Alf is half of Alfred. Half of the name Alfred. It's inside the word half. Alf. Ah. So, that ends today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the show. Letter linking. Such a great technique. So useful. I adore letter linking. Linking, king, 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 a linking. If you've got any good links, let me know. Come on, you win yourself a badge or two. And a shout out, of course, and a pencil. Here's a good one. Thumb, the bee of thumb. You can't hear the bee of thumb. The thumb itself is the bee. Ah, oh, great one. The word eye on a road, cat's eyes in the middle of the road. The pair of eyes of the cat and the nose itself is the Y, E-Y-E. I, what a tough word that is. And of course you got the man himself. The name of the app is Selinkalon. Is it in?